Tonight, friends, family, and total strangers will gather in Orange to welcome Private First Class Seth Sarton home for a final time. His loved ones want you to meet near the Claybar Funeral Home around 8.30. You know, it's been two weeks since the young soldier was found dead in his army barracks in Pensacola, Florida. Sarton had served a little over a year, and he was taking part in cyber intelligence training. Tonight, his parents spoke with our James Grant. For Seth Sarton, serving in the Army was a dream come true. It's something he wanted to do ever since he was a little boy. I remember when Seth was five, five, six years old, and he saw a commercial on uh, TV about being in the Army, and they had the Army watch, and he always said he wanted an Army watch. And uh, he did get it. He did get it when he joined the Army. Seth Sarton joined the Army last year after graduating from LCM. His parents will never forget how happy he was when he left for basic training. We were all crying, but he wasn't crying. He was smiling real big. <laughs> we carried him to the airport and he got on the plane, you know, and he, he never looked back. Some people might look at basic training as intense and a lot of work, but Seth embraced it. I remember whenever he said he met the drill sergeant the first time uh, after he got off the plane coming in and he said he was just laughing. He said, it was so funny. I'm just having so much fun with the way they're yelling at me to tell me to do this and tell me to do that. Seth's dad, Kyle, also served in the Army and enjoyed sharing that bond with his son. He would call and we would compare stories of when he went through the, the gas chamber. And I remember telling him what I when I went through the gas chamber or just comparing stories and swapping, telling he told me about all his friends. Seth's parents want to remember him as a hero who made them proud every single day. He really loved you and he really respected you and talked about you like you was his hero. And he's like, you know, you got no idea, man. He's always been my hero. You know, he was a better man than I am. Seth's parents both say that if they could say one last thing to their son, it would be that they're so proud of him, not just for what he accomplished, but more importantly, for being a great person. In Beaumont, James Grant. 12 News. All right, James. And the Army is still investigating to find out how Sarton died on base. His family invites you to line the streets near Claybar Funeral Home around 830 tonight. The visitation for Sarton will be Sunday afternoon. His funeral Monday afternoon at 2 o'clock. Burial will follow at Hillcrest Memorial Gardens.